What's up, everybody? Destin Legary here with Vince and Janito. Hey, Destin, what's up, man? Vince, we are checking out a Street Fighter trailer featuring M. Bison. I'm super excited. I know, me too. So uh, he was teased at the end of the Charlie trailer, so we kind of knew he was coming, but it's still really awesome. Uh, this is a packed trailer with lots of kind of gameplay information about how Bison is is changed dramatically. Really they, definitely. Way. Like a lot of, lot of big changes for the character. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to we're gonna jump right in here. Uh, I just love this intro, though. Like, he's so, he's already, he's so physically imposing. You know, he's the big, big bad, really, uh, along with Akuma of the Street Fighter universe. So it's nice to see him looking so uh, so 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 nasty. So what's um, this first move we're looking at? Yeah, so this first move, this is his typical jump fierce. Uh, this is a um, this is a move that everyone who plays Bison will be familiar with. Who, who's played against Bison will be familiar with. Uh, again, this is just keeping in 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 line with them. Uh, Kind of really sticking to to animations and and frames of animation uh, and moves for their normals that people are familiar with, and I like that because you know people who've been playing these characters for a long time they need some kind of anchor right to go off mm -hmm. of, and I like that. So it's uh, familiar, but there you're you're gonna see big oh, there's changes, plenty big changes. Yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of big changes. So uh, you can also see that it it. This this reads Charlie in like this purple in the purple drank in the purple stuff. Yep. Uh, psycho energy, of course, if you want to be technical about it. Um, a lot of uh, Bison's normals seem to do that, and I'm not sure if it's just a visual thing or if it leads to some kind of gameplay uh, element. See, his uh, punch normals all seem to do it uh, and and keep it up. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more of it uh, a little more of it later. But right here, we actually let's let's play it full speed first. Uh, this combo. The whole little combo. Yeah. Right there is, is that kind a of grab. What is that? I don't. It, it looks like it's a grab, but it's a. Uh, it, it's some kind of like a projectile that comes out of the ground or something. It's a. Uh, it's very funky looking. It's totally a new move for him. But what's really significant about this, I can't tell from the way this cuts, if he recovers fast enough to. He doesn't look quite recovered there, mm -hmm. but maybe almost. But then it to cuts continue. away. You're thinking he could continue the combo. I think he might be able to juggle off of this. Uh, it's also significant. Because uh, it also puts the, this kind of the purple psycho energy around him, around Charlie. So yeah, still unclear whether or not this is purely visual or if it plays into like every character so far in Street Fighter Five has had their own little unique mechanic, and that uh, maybe maybe this is his. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, moving along, his throw There's also uh, throw. does the same thing. You can see there it. Uh, it, then it, it disappears. No, it, <laughs> it puts the purple energy on yeah. uh, uh, the purple psycho energy on uh, on Charlie. So again, is it significant? Is it not? Whoa! Yeah, what happened there? That's it's significant. really let's, interesting. Let's back that up. So um, if you play Bison, you know that, uh, I mean, he doesn't have trouble with zoners per se, like mm. not huge trouble, but he doesn't have a meaningful active way to deal with them. Um, you know, to, to make them think twice about what they're doing. So here, uh, you know, Charlie throws a, a sonic boom and he absorbs Bison it, absorbs it, and, and immediately it. gives it back to him. Yeah, just sends it right back. Now, would that be fast enough to punish someone throwing a projectile? That, no, but it at will that give... range, right? You not... could at least block. But, exactly. Yeah. But the the thing is, is that since it's a special move, I'm gonna guess. I mean, we don't know how meter management works in Street Fighter Five yet, mm -hmm. but uh, in previous Street Fighters, usually doing a special move gets you some kind of meter. So this gives him something to do other than just block or neutral jump. Mm -hmm. um, so he can actually get something out of it and then give the opponent a problem to deal with, at least wonder, something to deal with. I wonder if there's an EX version of that and what that does. I, you know, I bet you there is an EX version, and I bet you it'll absorb up to two or reflect up to two hit projectiles. So like an EX fireball, oh, it'll probably cool. get EX reflect. Another cool thing to notice about this is that, um, you know, uh, the other psycho power practitioner, Rose, uh, also uh, also has this. Uh, also has this move. She can reflect mm -hmm. projectiles as well. So uh, maybe, maybe she, maybe he learned it from her. Yeah, maybe uh, that could be some story, uh, some story stuff there between him and Rose. I don't know. Um, so this is huge. Let me let this. Whoa. Yeah, let's yeah. play that back in slow mo from the yeah. beginning. Let's uh, let's let's back that up and uh, yeah, let's let that sink in for a second. Now this is again. Bison's iconic slide. Everyone knows the slide. This is like his down, uh, his down roundhouse, his crouching roundhouse. Um, Long range, hits low, but you never really got much out of it. Mm -hmm. But this is juggling, like an end-over-end -end juggle, and he goes right into this other move, which is also um, also new. It's kind of a variation on a, on a move he's had at different points in the past. Uh, it's like a short-range projectile, uh, this little psycho orb. Mm -hmm. um, and again, exactly what that does, not sure, uh, but we do get a glimpse of the EX, what I think is the EX version of it later, and we'll see uh, a little more about what that can do. But yeah, if he can actually do 
If he can actually juggle off his slide, that's a big deal for Bison. Just another example of another way in which they've allowed him to get more out of the things that... Uh, uh, out of every hit, you know, he's never been that kind of a character before. But speaking uh, of giving Bison more, if we move on to his teleport, yes, which so, we just saw a sneak peek of, yes. So uh, Bison has always had teleports. Um, well, not always, but he's in uh, modern Bison since like Alpha, I believe. I'm trying to remember when he first got his teleports, but we've we've seen him with teleports before. Mm -hmm. But the really crazy thing about this teleport is that it seems to recover faster. Like, yeah. you see here before he's it even looks like done, he's right. He's ready. Like, as soon as he becomes, you know, tangible. Yeah, as soon as he becomes tangible, it seems like he can do another one. Um, and I don't know if instead of just doing another one, he could have just blocked, um, or if he has to cancel one teleport into another. That would be cool if he can cancel teleports into each other. But either way, his teleport seems to recover faster than it used to, um, which makes it more usable. Um, you know, less punishable. He has to be a little bit less careful with it, perhaps. I can um, see players jumping all over the screen, like, as a cross-up mechanic, and really... You know, going into players with that. Sure, absolutely. It looks like a teleport that he can use a little bit more, uh, a little bit more aggressively. So um, after that, uh, we're gonna see kind of the first example of. So right there. That looked like an EX. Yeah, it totally looks like an EX, except. You know, EX in this game, we still don't have a there. solid... Yeah. yeah, right there. He flashes Yeah, before orange. there was, like, something on the ground that indicated uh, something was happening with uh, Charlie. Yeah, that's right. Uh, with Charlie, whenever he used, like, his special mechanic, um, there was kind of a flourish, like a, like a ring of power that came out uh, from around his feet. Uh, it seems like everyone in this game so far just has their own visual way of denoting that they're doing something... Special. Uh, special, right, exactly. And everyone seems to use meter in different ways. We already know that everyone's got different lengths length meter. Like, Ryu only has two EX bars, Chun-Li had three. Um, we don't see that information here in this trailer, so it's hard to know. But one thing we do know uh, is that whether this is some kind of special mechanic unique to Bison, or if this is just what his EXs look like, uh, we do know that afterwards... It yeah, puts them... that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Now, that's definitely his Devil Stomp. That's a that's an old... That's an old uh, that's Bison. A classic. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah. It's a bison classic. But uh here he hits them OTG, hits them off the ground with yeah. it. And I wonder if the if the if the if the devil stomp can always do that or if it's just this uh this EX um uh, this EX orb attack that allows that uh to happen. We'll take another look at it in full speed because it's interesting here. Uh, yeah, bam, and then Okay. So right there, I don't know if I would like to imagine that this is his activation, quote unquote. This yeah. is like, you know, like his special mode, like everyone in Street Fighter V seems to have so far. But what exactly it does is unclear to me. So you Faster. can see all the normals are still, uh, all punch normals are still creating that psycho energy around Charlie. Um, it seems qu he seems quicker. Maybe it's just faster. Yeah, he does seem to be a little bit quicker. Um, here we see uh, kind of what, what might be an EX version of Devil Stomp, where he does it twice. Oh yeah. Um, and he and again, I don't know if that's related to the fact that he's got the, uh, you know, maybe what it could be is that w when he's in this mode, maybe he has unlimited meter for a short period of time. Oh. You see the one ex ex orb and then an ex stomp right after. Yeah. Um, or maybe he's chaining ex stomps there. I don't know. So maybe uh, Bison's ability is that he can he can have unlimited ex meter for a limited amount of time. And that's a theory. Yeah, yeah, totally theory. So going on, this is really cool. So that looks like an ex version of um, of scissor kick. Mm -hmm. uh, of his scissor press, um, a very popular That's bison char pressure tool. His charge attack, yeah. Yep, it's what his his is uh, charge back forward with uh, with uh, with kick, and uh, that looks cool. And but what's interesting here though is that he uh, this ex version of it seems to knock down, and we don't see exactly where bison ends afterwards on that. Mm -hmm. But it looks like um, it looks almost like a, a hard knockdown to me. Like maybe you do the EX version and then you get some kind of Oki afterwards. You can mix them up while they're waking up or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just looks like that to me. It looks like the kind of thing that's a uh, that's a hard knockdown. And then we'll let this play in full because this is this seems to be his uh, his ultra. Mm -hmm. And I love even especially when you look at it in slow motion like this. You can see remember that watercolor theme that that Street Fighter Four first yeah. had in the first trailers. Like this looks like that, but in real. But in real time, like the game is actually, this is actual gameplay and it's doing it. Let's so check I think it that's out. Pretty badass. Um, but yeah, we'll let this play at full. And this is very significant. He winds up for his big ultra. And that is a Psycho Crusher. You're e right. Except. And in your notes, you say. Yeah, a very I good realized point. this whole time we haven't seen the Psycho Crusher. Mm -hmm. Is the Psycho Crusher gone? Is it only an ultra? 
you know that that's what I, it looks like to me. We'll, we'll I kind of like that because like uh, low level players will just spam that all the time. That's you true. Know? You know, like uh, Psycho Crusher has become so like you like kind of ubiquitous um, for him, and yeah, it's something that people just kind of lean on and do at neutral uh, all the time, and it can be good, obviously, in that respect. But it's interesting to take that away as like a standard option and make that kind of like his big coup de gras is uh, is seriously cool. Uh, and totally unexpected, and uh, a great example of how they're really just kind of remaking this character. They've changed the character for the better, in my opinion. I I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to see pro-level players get their hands on him and really figure out some cool stuff with Bison. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. I mean, they they've absolutely shown that they uh, they're they're not interested in just doing the same old thing over and over again. They're they're really reinventing some of these characters. We really saw that with uh, with Charlie as well. So I'm uh, I'm super psyched as well to see uh, to see where this goes. As you saw, no big teaser for a next character at the end of this one. So who knows? Maybe the next trailer will be, will, uh, will be a nice tease for whoever they're going to reveal next. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's about what we got. Yeah, and we'll be back for that next teaser. Thank you for joining us, Vince. Oh, no and, problem. Uh, you know, giving us all uh, yeah, a taste of bison. <laughs> anyway, for more on Street Fighter, you're already in the right place. IGN.